there, what's up YouTube, it's the Chemicals, and Asus, it's a uh, dual band, and fucking, it's an N66U, it's great, I can't use it, I fucked up firmware stuff, I did dd 2 r thing, I did too much stuff, I fucked up, so I need to fix it, okay, uh, we're gonna go in the YouTube Google browser, okay, let's, uh, yeah, look it up in the Google, Asus, um, the N, 66U, that's my model. You might have a different model. This will probably work with a lot of more modern, even some uh, routers from Asus that are even up to six, seven years old. Uh, look up your router, you found it, it's here. I found my router. Okay, uh, I wanna go to the support page for my router on the Asus page. Yeah, go to the driver and tools. Okay, choose whichever you're using, you know, if you got A, you use A. That's so cool, man. Whatever, whatever works for you. Utility, you want to grab the utility. Utility. Try to find something that says something along the lines of, like, Asus Utility version something. You want that one. Uh, so, click, click that, save that. I'm going to save that. See, none of these things were that. Firmware, you want the firmware. Beta version, I don't know. I, I'm not a risk taker. I'm. Uh, I like to play things cool. Let's scroll down a bit. Okay, here's a good version right here. Um, yeah, let's just do that. It's the latest version. Let's just global it up. Save it up. Cool. Wow, downloads really fast today. Woo! Speed lightning. Okay. So got some downloads. Say like my cat. That's not my cat. It's a picture of a cat. All right folders here let's extract this stuff so you know unzip it how you unzip stuff you are a pretty smart person you're doing router stuff you should want to unzip something so unzip the stuff however you do it it's okay so now we have our two things we downloaded they're unzipped unity utility I can't read whatever let's set it up English I speak it it's a joke that will never be done let's install this stuff Ace is pretty cool. Oh, what's this? I'll, I'll, I trust you. Alright, I don't want to start up that shit. Alright, we got that installed. We got this guy. That's pretty important. Okay, so we're going to put this thing in what we call recovery mode so we can recover the device, you know? Okay. You're going to accomplish this. You know, every browser is going to be different. There's going to be a reset button. It's not going to be the one that says uh, WPS. It's going to be something else. And in my case, it's this guy right there. It's right there. I'll plug it in right there. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna... I can't do this with two fucking hands, so... I'm gonna... I can't do that. Okay. So, hold down the, the reset button simultaneously. Hold that shit down. You'll hear a little... You'll feel a tactile little click. And plug her in, you know? I'm just gonna... You know, do 2D, IMAX, Michael Bay. So, keep holding down that reset button. And... Okay, I think we got it. So, what you should be left with is your router. You should be blinking with that light there. The power light should just kind of be blinking on and off, kind of slowly. Might be different. As long as the power button's blinking, nothing else doing stuff. If you're plugged into something else, it could be blinking, but make sure, above all else, that power. Alright, this is where things get really complicated. You're going to have to do some some subnet routing. You got these ports back here. Find one of the ones, you know, not the WAN port. Don't use that one. Don't use the one that's singled out from the rest. Use use the one with the group of people. You want to be with the people. We're gonna put the other in our in our computer. Look at that. So that's a gaming rig. Oh, it's dark back here. Plug that shit in. Okay, we're like in business now. Get up on your machine here. Um, I want to go on my control panel and find my, uh, you know, just view it by small, small icon. I don't know how you view your control panels, up to you. Now we're going to Sharing Center. Ideally, you want to get to your adapter set, you know, get to this area. Um, if you have any additional network adapters, god damn it. If you have any additional network adapters, disable those. So I got this guy here. I'm just going to disable him. I don't need him. I know this guy's the guy. This is the guy. This is the network adapter that's plugged into that router there. So you know what? I'm just going to right click that, go to properties, you know, change the IP stuff. Go, uh, IPv4. That's what we're using today. Um, so uh, just do 192.168.1.0. No, you want to be two. Make a number two. So IP address 192.168.1.2. 
subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Yeah. Default gateway 192.168.1.1. That's going to be IP address of the router. Nonetheless, make sure that's a 2. <laughs> All right. So, now you're on some sort of network, whatever. That's cool. So, if we go to your programs, I have a lot of stuff, but you want to find that Asus utility. Um, go to that firmware restoration. That's what we want to do today. We want to restore some firmware. Browse and uh, ooh, honey pop. Want to play some of that? Mm-hmm. I bet you do. Go to your desktop or wherever you wherever you put that firmware file with downloaded. I put mine on my desktop. Let's open it up and upload it. Should be able to search for that. It'll say some stuff. And cool, we're updating the firmware file. Uploading in progress. What you should see now is that firmware is updating in progress. You got the light there. Ooh, still on. It's on. It is full on. It is 100% on. It's not even blinking anymore. Um, he's still blinking. But that's cool. The cable's still plugged in. It's still doing stuff. Oh. Oh. System recovery. Okay. Okay. What are you doing right now? It's still powered on. Okay. Dope. 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 Let's let that go. So if you like me and you get this message, fail to connect, what does that mean? Well, um, did it get to 100%? Did you watch that bar get to 100% of the, the completing process? If you did, they might be looking good. This is okay. It's okay. Don't freak out. Don't freak out! Okay. So my status is I got a power light solid and I got uh, my cable, you know, the cable that's plugged into it. It's right there. Um, that's okay. But if you have no power light, and it's still plugged in and you can see your power source and, it, and it's you know still hot and all that shit and you don't have either a cable or if you just have the cable or if you just have the power no cable basically any status leave the motherfucker alone if it completed that loading screen just leave the fucker alone give it 20 minutes give it an hour i'd say you know after like you know a couple hours i'd say give up but at least give it 60 minutes and see if it does not end up working. You click the star menu there, type in CMD, it's gonna bring up a menu here. I wanna type in ping, and let's type in 192.168.1.1, that IP address uh, of our router. And type in a dash T there. So what we're getting right now is we're getting a reply back with a ping here. That's great. If you're not getting a ping or um, any response from your router, don't freak out. It could be in the process of applying firmware updates. So, you know, give it 20 minutes, give it an hour. Don't disconnect power from it. Give it, you know, some time. Um, my router is in a state where, you know, lights are on on the front, uh, power lights on, solid. Everything's looking good there. So what I'm going to try to do is connect to our router. And here we go. I have a username and password prompt. I have no idea what the defaults are. So, uh, admin admin, cool enough. I'm sure you'll have an easy time setting this back up. And if you need help setting this up, look it up. You're a smart person. You looked it up this video. <laughs> and I just want to thank you guys again for watching this. If you enjoyed it, cool. If you didn't, fuck you. Peace out.